What's going on guys, my name's Theo Atrix and today I'm going to be going through each of the five spirit shields in old school runescape and I'll be explaining their specific effects and basically what they'd be useful for. I personally sort of knew what each spirit shield already did but I never actually knew the exact specific bonuses of each one so I felt like making this video. I hope you enjoy. So the five shields are the normal spirit shield, the blessed spirit shield, the spectral, arcane, and the Elijah. I'm going to start off with the ordinary spirit shield. This one requires level 45 defense and 55 prayer to wear and is a good cheap shield with a high defense bonus, especially for rangers and mages since it doesn't have any negative attack bonuses. It gives plus 40 to 50 defense in all of the attack styles except for magic which it only gives a plus one defense bonus in. I'm not sure why that is since Corp is a magic based boss. But anyway, it also gives a plus one prayer bonus. A lot of Tribrid PKers use this shield since there's no negative range and mage bonus. As I said, it's also very cheap, selling for only 90k each. The next shield is the upgraded version of the Spirit Shield called the Blessed Spirit Shield. And it's created by using a Holy Elixir on a regular Spirit Shield and basically gives two extra prayer bonus. So plus three prayer bonus in total. And along with that, it gives you slightly higher defense bonuses but to compensate for the higher defense bonus you need at least level 70 defense and 60 prayer to wear it it doesn't have any special effects like the arcane spectral and the elijah so that's why it's only about 850 to 900 K in the grand exchange. This shield also gives no negative offensive bonuses. So it's a good option for tribriders once again, and it's most notable defense bonus is its crush defense bonus, which is plus 73 and is actually higher than the dragon fire shield. Now the first of the special shields is the spectral spirit shield. This is the dark blue shield, which currently costs around 40 mil. It requires 75 defense, 65 magic, and 70 prayer to wear. This shield is a really good option for those that can afford it for bosses that drain your prayer. This is because the shield blocks 50% of the prayer drain from prayer draining attacks. So this shield is usually used against bosses like Cerberus, which has a really high prayer draining attack. And I'm guessing it could be useful for Venonatus, the spider wilderness boss, since it has the purple prayer draining attack. But I doubt many people would be comfortable with taking a 40 mil shield into the wilderness. So I've never really seen anyone with that there. Now on top of the prayer drain reduction, it also offers far higher magic defense than all of the other spirit shields, giving 30 plus magic defense. All of the other defense and prayer bonuses, however, are the same as the blessed spirit shield. The next shield is the yellow arcane spirit shield, and it requires the same stats as the spectral and pretty much does everything exactly the same. So that means it reduces prayer drain by 50% from prayer draining attacks and it also has the same defense bonuses as the blessed spirit shield so it has the plus three prayer bonus the plus 73 crush and the other similar stats but the reason why it's only 120 mil instead of 40 mil is that instead of providing a high magic defense it provides the highest in slot magic attack bonus giving plus 20 magic attack in the shield slot the second best is the Mages book, which currently is at about 8 mil, but the reason why the price is way lower is that it only gives plus 15 magic attack bonus and no defense bonuses except for magic. So in my opinion, any rich mages out there should definitely invest into getting an arcane, especially for things like raids where defense bonuses are really, really important, and maybe for other bosses which need a high magic attack bonus like Scorpia. All right, so the final and most expensive renowned spirit shield in the game is the Elijah spirit shield. And this one needs level 75 prayer and level 75 defense to use. The sigil is far rarer to get from the corporal beast than the arcane and the spectral. So the Elijah is way more expensive. It has slightly better defense bonuses than the blessed spectral and the arcane spirit shields, but it still only gives you plus two magic defense and plus three prayer bonus. The reason why this shield is well over 300 mil at the moment, well, it used to be 700 mil until the twisted bow came out. Anyway, it's so expensive because of the special effect that it has. 
So this shield has a 70% chance of reducing any damage you receive by 25%. So one way to think of it is that people wearing it will have their damage reduced by 17.5% all the time, which is really, really good for things like bossing and even PvP if you're willing to walk into dangerous areas wearing over 300 mil. Anyway, some people have probably been thinking, why has this thing crashed from 700 mil all the way down to 300 mil, more than half? Off. The only answer I have for you guys is the best new item in the game, the Twisted Bow, is a one-handed weapon, so you can't wear a shield with it. Also, with the raids update, there was a lot of other new items which were released which are really, really expensive, so the market sort of had to level out in the expensive items as players sold their Elijahs to spread their money over all of the other items like Ancestral Robes, Dragon Claws, and the new Prayer Scrolls. Now, I wanted to add something pretty interesting into this video. So a lot of you might remember the Divine Spirit Shield, the green one, and that used to sell for way over one bill in RuneScape 2. I was checking the prices in RuneScape 3, and that thing is only six mil now. Anyway, the reason why this shield isn't in old school RuneScape is the Divine was introduced into RuneScape in 2008. It required 75 defense and prayer like the Elysian and gave a 100% chance of reducing 30% of the damage along with the reduced prayer drain bonus so this thing was by far the most powerful and the best spirit shield in the game and it's a shame that it currently isn't in old school runescape maybe it will get released in the future I think it did have a poll a few months ago actually and it didn't pass it only got like 30% of people wanted it or something I don't know why that is maybe since it's so overpowered but anyway Thanks for watching guys. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more awesome old school content. Thanks for watching.